See, there is a meaning to equal opportunity for all human beings. You should not even consider their gender. Women should have rights, I don't like that. All human beings should have equal opportunity. And they should choose what they want to do. What a man wants to do, what a woman wants to do, it's the choice of an individual. See, the, this is the problem, when something is going wrong, people react to that and they think they can correct it by reversing everything. Reverse is not the answer, reaction is not the answer. What you do in reaction will always lead to one kind of injustice, will lead to another kind of injustice. There are various aspects attached to this, but feminism, if you are importing it from the United States, most of the feminists, they didn't live well. They talked and talked and talked. And in the end, their life is empty. Not because there is no man, you don't need a man, it's… it's your choice, okay? But the problem is constantly being in a state of reaction doesn't need to well… lead to well-being of a human being. This is one species, we should not forget this. These are not two species, this is one species. The species is made in such a way that they have to… There is only possibility to exist together, there is no other way. Question is how much need you have for the opposite gender or you don't have need for it, that's up to individual choices. But fundamentally there is no such thing as superiority or inferiority. Once again this superiority business has come or this male domination has happened in various societies mainly because we made economics the most important thing. Money is the only value. Now the go-getter in the family is the only value. Let me share this with you. My mother did not earn a rupee in her life and she didn't care about earning a rupee. But can you think that that family… can you think of that family without her? Is it even a possibility? Rubbish! It's simply rubbish that somebody thinks, oh, she didn't earn a rupee, so she must have been a slave, so she was a housewife, she worked all the time, nobody paid her. This is just stupid stuff, okay? Because money has become the greatest value. Right now in this town, if you say there is a big man, this doesn't mean he has a big body, we don't value them anymore. It doesn't mean he has a big brain or a big heart or big something else. No, he just has big pocket. So this has to change in the society. If money is the only value, male is the only value, I want you to understand this. Today, in the name of feminism, unfortunately, a whole lot of women are desperately trying to be like men. It's not so much in India. If you look in, you know, business dis districts of United States and UK and other places, I feel terrible for these women. All the time they have to be in a certain way. It is so hard to be a woman in the Western country these days. It… at one time it looked like freedom, you will see it is so extremely difficult to be a woman because she has to be always balancing on four… four-inch heels and she has to be dressed like this and she has to carry these bags like a man. Everything, heavy bags and computers and going here, going there, just doing the same stupid things that man is doing. All… this is all about how I earned a few dollars more than another man. This is just a stupid way to structure life both for a man and a woman. And for a woman, it will lead to lot more suffering. Today, over forty years of age, I think over forty-five years of age, forty-two percent of the women in America are on some kind of antidepressants or something else. This doesn't speak well, this doesn't show that it's worked, isn't it? If this has to go, the front end of your life should be your consciousness. Why consciousness is? See, when we sit here, your body is your body, my body is my body, hundred percent. Now you are very cautiously agreeing, disagreeing because your mind is your mind, my mind is my mind. Yes? <laughs> but when it comes to life, there is no such thing as your life and my life. There is just life, this is a living cosmos. You capture a little bit of life, I capture a little bit, somebody else capture a little bit. If you put that as the front end of your life, 
all these discriminations, prejudice, nonsense, your body will not work against you and anybody, your mind will not against… work against you or anybody, your emotions will not work against you or anybody, because it is the identity which decides how your mind functions, isn't it? Right now this feminism is coming from, I am identified as a woman. No, physically you are a woman, it's fine, fifty percent of the population should be women, always. Always it should be, that is good. You are identified as a woman at one level, but your identity need not be one hundred percent with your female body, because this means we are identifying with body parts. If we must identify with body parts, why choose reproductive organs, at least choose the brains, I mean.